This week, the Tigers are gearing up to play the Florida Gators in their fourth SEC matchup of the year. Last week, LSU fell 21 to 42 to Kentucky. The Wildcats finished with 330 rushing yards against the Tigers. However, LSU won the passing game with 251 yards. Sophomore quarterback Max Johnson will make his ninth career start this Saturday. This week, one of the keys to success is protecting Johnson from defensive tackle Zachary Carter, who has six sacks himself this season. Back receivers, tight ends is, you know, we have to do everything we can to to kind of make it easier for him because you know he's got the most on his plate as, as a quarterback. Uh, you know, and I I think that he's done a really good job uh, this year. With Kayshawn Boutte being out for the season, Coach O believes that it is the next man up for his receivers this Saturday. Bigger role. Uh, Jare Jenkins, I think all those guys just have to step up, not just one guy, everybody has to step up. On defense, Coach O says the Tigers have to play the gap, and missing the gap is what led to their losses this season. This week, Coach O emphasized the importance of developing the Tiger Rush defense against Florida. On defense, it was all about gap fits, about staying out gap, playing with proper technique, uh, put, and putting ourselves in better position to adjust to some of the formations that we've seen. If LSU can stick to their plan and play to their strengths, the Tigers could pull off a win this Saturday night in Death Valley. For Tiger TV Sports, I'm Ava Graziano. LSU takes the lead. With